Hey guys, Jan here. Today we're going to do a how to clean your airbrush video. I'm going to be using my Badger 350. Uh, just due to the fact it's very similar to a lot of siphon fed uh, uh, external mixed single action airbrush. So it's a very simple procedure. Um, all you need is an old soft bristle toothbrush. If you're using acrylics, use your sunlight soap or your Dawn or whatever soap you want. You're using your lacquers. I find it's best to use the lacquer thinner and I'm stuck and then obviously after you use your lacquer thinner to do your enamel and your clean I usually go back and clean again with sunlight just to make it work right. First thing you're going to have is obviously your bottle is going to be very dirty with paint. What I like to do is fill it up, not fill it up, but give you know, a little bit of splash of your thinner or your soap. Get it mixed up and get it cleaned out first. Also by doing this I don't dump it out when I'm done. I will use this beside the sink with my thinner in it and just kind of sit off the side so don't make a mess. First things first, kind of dab her into my uh, solution, right? You gave it the whole thing a good cleaning here. This is obvious stuff, right? Give that a clean, wash that, put it away. Here's where the questions come, is what do I do here? Easy enough, these are very simple. You have a jam nut right here. Start turning this out, and then you're going to turn your cone out too. Not tight, but just till it comes snug, and then holding the brush, push everything down then you can screw it the rest of the way. And then you can pull your needle out without stabbing yourself. And then the other two pieces will fall out. You have your cone, which is on there tight. There we go. Screw it out. And voila, done. The thing you're going to watch out for, though, is I've lost this already once, is this little washer. It's kind of like a spacer. It goes on the back, or it goes on the needle before you put it through. If you're very careful, you do not lose that piece. All right, so now we're into cleaning. Dab into your solution again. This part here is just very quick. I just to get any crap off that I've got on it, paint for my fingers, anything like that. Right, get that washed, put it aside. Now here's all I'm doing is with my solution, just kind of taking the bristles, going down inside, rotating, cleaning. And then it's not very technical here, but just kind of taking the hole that would be in the end of the the nozzle here and just working it with your toothbrush, right? Just kind of working in there, trying to get it clean. Wash this out. Jam nut. Wash it out. Cone, very simple as well. You're just washing, cleaning this out. The crucial part, the crucial part of this now is getting your needle. This can be more difficult kind of get my solution right and going in here and really getting as much in here as I can possibly get and clean right and then kind of coming in through the orifices here trying as much washing this takes them a lot quite a bit of time right cleaning you can get special tools for this and probably a great investment because this is a quite a deep area you got to go from here down to here trying to get clean I find too if it's really bad you let it soak in your solution for a little bit rinse off now if that's if you're using black or thinner I like to then go back and use my sunlight so do this all again just to get all that stuff off of there. Time for reassembly. Taking the crown and screwing it back in. Making sure it's all lined up. Oh yeah, good stuff. Here's a little trick I like to do. It seems to make it a bit easier. Like so. Put the, uh, the nozzle in. Your jam nut. Everything is perfectly lined up. And you've got to kind of push everything through. Get everything tightened up, push her through. There we go. And voila! Back together. One clean airbrush ready for the next job. Alright guys, hopefully this helps. Any questions, let me know. If you guys have a method that works better, share it with us and uh, we can take it from there. Alright guys, adios.